Other computers or operating systems may be different, but for me, with a Lenovo computer and Windows 10, the way to turn the keyboard lights off and on is to press the function key and the space bar. Press them once to turn the lights off. Again to turn them back on. Again for full brightness. And again to turn them off. Of course, this is not a highly guarded secret, but it sure was hard for me to find out how to do it. I could not find any backlight setting under settings. I finally found out how to do it under this article, which also covers other models of computers and different ways to do so. Here are some other computer techniques that I've found very useful. One way to hide your list of passwords in your computer is to make the text white. Take a random document that does not suggest a list of passwords like edible plants. Keep the top part of it, but then put your password list below that down in this area. Let's assume down here is your actual list of passwords. Highlight it, and make the font white. That way no one knows it's there except you. If you get these spelling correction lines, you can get rid of them by clicking on Review, Spelling and Grammar, and click Ignore Once and then save the document. Then when you're looking up a password for yourself, highlight the lower section and change the text to black. Once you have your password, do a Control-Z to put the text back into white. Myself, rather than making the font white, I prefer dropping a white rectangle over the text. Go to the Insert tab at the top, the Shapes drop-down arrow, click on a rectangle, draw it in. Make the fill white, make the outline white. Your passwords are now nicely hidden. The trend in computers today is away from traditional hard drives in computers to solid state drives in computers. But despite their advantages, solid state drives have less capacity than traditional hard drives. For example, my solid-state computer has only a 250 gigabyte capacity. So, in order to keep my computer from getting filled or too cluttered, I transfer material to an external hard drive and store it there. Transferring material to an external hard drive is easy. You just attach the external hard drive and drag and drop. However, there is a critical factor to remember. When you drag and drop files to an external hard drive, it makes a copy on the external hard drive, and the original is retained in your computer. When you drag and drop a file within your computer, it does not make a copy, it moves it. So don't think you still have the original in its original spot. You no longer do. It's only when you drag and drop to an external hard drive that a copy is made and the original is retained in its original spot. Another key factor in organizing your computer is using shortcuts. If you have a file that makes sense to put under either of two different folders, say finances and porch repair, don't keep that file in one folder and make a copy to go under the other folder
because if you add information to one file at one time and the other file at another time, you will end up with two files with different information on them. Instead, use the shortcut feature. Stick the file under one of the folders, make a shortcut, and drag the shortcut to the other folder. That way, no matter which file you click on, the actual file or the shortcut, you won't end up with some information on one file and other information on another file. Note that deleting a shortcut does not delete the actual file. Just be sure that it is a shortcut you are deleting, as indicated by a blue arrow on the icon. Say you want to fit a certain amount of text onto a single page. You could change to a narrower font, from Times New Roman to Arial Narrow. Almost, but not quite. Besides, you like the looks of Times New Roman better. You could make the font smaller, from 12 point to 11 point. Almost, but not quite. And it might be a little too small for your taste. You could put the text into two columns. Layout, Columns, 2. Usually that does say space, but this time it didn't save much. And let's say you don't really want two columns. You could make your margin smaller. Layout, margins, from moderate to narrow. But it still may not be enough. Here's what I sometimes do to solve the fitting problem. Go to the Home tab. Font drop-down arrow. Advanced tab, Scale. If you choose 50%, that'll save you lots of space. But, of course, it doesn't look that good. Even at 80%, it doesn't look that good. But I find 90% looks pretty good. And in this case, it did the trick. We have the full text on one page. Incidentally, up here you can order up half sizes. If 12 is too big and 11 too small, click here, type in 11.5, press Enter. Sometimes a half size will do the trick. If you keep extensive ongoing notes on a topic, whether it's sports, finances, recipes, whatever, here's a neat way to organize them. For each entry you make, keep it to one paragraph. And put a title at the start of the paragraph. Do a control all. Go to paragraph and click on the sort icon, OK, and that will put all of your notes into alphabetical order under their titles. This way you can organize your notes quickly, even though you may have 30 pages of notes. It's much easier than laborious scrolling, finding, and moving text over and over again. I've always found the default pointer and I-beam cursor to be not as visible as I'd like them to be. I mean, look at this. You can barely see them. You can increase visibility by clicking on the Start button. Settings, type in mouse size,
Press the Enter key and drag the slider to the size you want. I like 5. Then you can change it to a more visible color. Click Custom. I like red. Also, I find the default text cursor thickness too thin. Type in cursor. Click Change Cursor Thickness. I like it at 3. Some people might like it at the maximum 20. Finally, here is something that has annoyed me for years until I finally figured out what I was doing. Every so often, a line of text suddenly gets spread out. What? <laughs> what happened? What happened was, I meant to press the Shift key and the Quote key to put in a quote mark, but I accidentally pressed the Shift key and the Enter key which is the order to spread words out on a line. It's easy to make this mistake because the Enter key is right next to the Quote key. To fix the error, Control z to undo it, and try it again, pressing the desired Quote key, not the Enter key. I hope this has been helpful. Remember that there are only three things for certain death, taxes, and when you go to put in a thumb drive on your first try, you're going to try to put it in upside down.